smoke is quieting down. Seems like we've got to a lot of the smoke. Dub, you got smoke? So Ish from the Joe Budden podcast has it hot for Melissa Ford. And when I say hot, I mean whenever Mel and Ish get into a debate, Ish goes nuts when it comes to Mel. And the people are thinking Ish takes it harder out on her than the other castmates. This happens in many episodes, but this is from episode 717, The Cutlery Draw. But Joe calls it out in episode 718, which is a true Queens episode, hence the 718. And this one is called The Pog Whisperer. Joe told Ish he is going to help Mel if Ish gets crazy on her. But Ish wanted to know, you really going to help her, bro? Joe tells the cast, we all know why she debates with you. And it's basically for pod and entertainment reasons. You know, she be poking the bear. But Ish forgets everything and annihilates smell when it comes to these debates. Some people think Ish is just strong on woman, but I don't believe that. Because there are many episodes where he gets at Joe, Flip, Imani, Kino, everybody. I mean, Ish, Ish. He's a he's a live wire. <laughs> it's just a live wire. But some people don't seem to think that and they think that he is just getting on mail. Well, look at the files. Oh, oh, how oh, you okay. fired at mail last episode? I went and listened back, boy. Listen, listen to the listen to the <laughs> listen to the narrative Nancy over here. Then I shot you down. Bang, bang. <laughs> is that what happened? And you start acting like Daisy every time he every time. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's I mean, your recap? Oh, no, 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 no. oh she tapping his foot. <laughs> oh, he tapping his foot. She, she go hit the group chat. I'm not letting y'all get to me no more. She go hit the group chat about Ish. I'm not letting y'all get to me no more. Let me see, let me Yo, see. what they call this nigga in your group chat? Okay, Angry. I can oh, tell shit. my shit. Oh. <laughs> Why is Mel talking about Ish in the group chat with her girls? Do you think that Ish lady would feel some type of way hearing this? Like, why is this girl talking about my man in the group chat? We all seen how Angel Reese acted when the girl was always in her man's comments. This is a little different. This is a whole group chat. Do you think Ish goes for the juggler? When it comes to Mel. So in this clip that's coming up, you're going to see Mel telling Ish his takes about women are very generalized. And he groups women up in a negative light. And there are other types of women out there. Look at the files. This sounded a little generalized. Your t- your your takes on shit. Okay. Is this something? No, I just I wanted to find. Well, you were very passionate when I the clips that I saw, really passionate, almost like you were uh, angry. Oh, I see where you're trying to go. Yeah. Pizza Pizza game? Yeah. Like, oftentimes the women that you're talking about, I don't even, like, who who are these women that you're Mm -hmm. talking about? Like, I feel like you focus on, you're hyper-focused on one type of woman who has, you know, these, you know, lack goals, aspirations, other than attaining a nigga, Gucci bag, an NBA player, and all these things. I'm just like... There's other women you, out here. Yeah, you talk about women as like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word that we use all the time, a fucking monolith. And it's just like. And they're not. Uh, they're not a monolith. They're not a monolith. Why did you add? What is a monolith? I, I don't. I don't. Let me, let me, now we're going to talk. You trying to oh, be shit. You generalize oh, men just as much as everybody up here. Facts. You talk about men, you don't talk about them in, in, in a manner that. Includes everybody. You talk about a select group of men. So I'm Give telling me an example. you, every time you talk about men. So what I'm telling you is, mm. when you sit here I and don't. start shooting, don't run and bitch and cower when Whoa. niggas start shooting at you back. You use your weapon as your. Sit your, down. You, flip, you weaponize your female oh fan God. base all the time. Do and I? then you, yes, what? 
We have a whole five episodes. We have an episode called Bitch Box where you say that the stuff that people say weighs on you. And you sitting in here and you gunning for me. So I'm telling you, I'm trying to let it rock. When I shoot back at you, don't cower. That's all I'm saying. I don't think I've ever cowered. Okay, cool. Say less. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see here, Mel is picking at Ish. But this is because Joe Budden lined the whole argument up. If you were to average the assists joe does for arguments in comparison to an nba player's assist he would do extremely well he truly be revving up the whole crew but he definitely pushed mel into this and ish blew up all the side comments about what is a monolith people laughing on the side really made ish mad and he wanted to talk I don't think he was wrong in getting his point of view off to Mel because she does know what she's doing. I think this dynamic between the two on the part is great, though. I don't want Mel to stop picking that ish, and I don't want ish to stop being himself. It's what gives great content. It be seeming to me that they would just make a great brother and sister bond or a great couple. You know, I feel like they both are snipers, but play dumb on each other to see who's smarter in the room. But Ish always loses most of the time because Mel knows how to slither out in her girly ways. But we all want Mel to keep thriving on the pod and Ish to keep thriving on the pod. In the episode Bitch Box, Ish argued how Mel can be in a room with seven men. And say they are all wrong when they are all agreeing. And he is like, how could you say all seven people are wrong? And they're telling you <laughs> what it is. But Mel stands on her business. You know, the part is great. These arguments are great. It makes for great content. And we'll be back with the files. Yeah. My guy, Delta, that's my man, though. Gang, gang. That's my man, big dog.